day three of Crafts 2014, yeah. and we are joined by best in show judge this year, Jack Bispam. Thank you very much for stopping with us, Jack. You're welcome, yeah. Um, quite a big event here. Uh, I've seen you wandering yesterday. <laughs> uh, have you enjoyed it so far? Yeah, obviously, Crufts always has that special buzz with the number of people, the number of dogs. And, uh, um, in most dog people's eyes, Crufts is the best and biggest dog show in the world. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Now, take us back to, to how you got started in dogs. Uh, well, I should imagine, like a lot of dog people, we had a pet. Yeah. And uh, I used to go on the Lancashire Moors. <laughs> most weekends and go very long walks with them all Sunday, you know, this sort of yeah. thing. And uh, on one of the walks, a lady stopped me, she had two or three dogs. She said, hey, we had two then, by the way. She said, hey, that young one's uh, quite nice. Have you ever shown it? I said, no, they're just family pets type of thing. Yeah. She said, oh, come along to our training classes, which I did. And we started going and as they say, got bit with a bug and- uh, End of the story. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> or the beginning, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the first dog we had, that, uh, he, he went to a few local mm. open shows. I started going to the match nights and that yeah. sort of thing, then open shows. He won a few cards here and there, but nothing special. But he was a very special dog to us because he was so yeah. faithful, you know. Yeah. And uh, we bought a, a bitch from a lady in the, in the Lake District yeah. called Rosie Moorwood. And uh, she was our foundation bitch. Right, okay. And she did quite a lot of winning. And, uh, but it was a brood bitch she was more successful for. <laughs> and all our stuff come down from her. Come down from her. Yeah. Um, and you won your first CC in 1977, is that right? Yeah, in the 70s, yeah. yeah. 1977. Yeah, 77, yeah. Um, but when was it you started judging? Uh, in the mid 70s. Around the same set of time? Yeah, around the same set of time, yeah. That was only at local shows, you know. Mm. Maybe early 70s started judging match nights and right. rallies and uh, <laughs> they used to have sanctioned shows in them days, which yeah, are yeah. unheard of now. Then I went on to limit shows and open shows. And I think it was about 15 years uh, before I were uh, awarded CCs in the breed, you right. know, like judging, yeah, so quite a long apprenticeship. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it was almost set in the stars that you had to come to Crafts Best in Show, because your first Best in Show appointment was painting. That's correct. Um, where yeah the dog you chose went on to Best in Show at Crafts a few years later. Yeah, yeah, it was the uh, Tibetan Terrier Fabulous Willie. He did a lot of winning. Yeah. I think both sides of the Atlantic. Yes, yeah. And of course he won Best in Show at Crufts. And uh, yeah, that was uh, a nice dog. Yeah. yeah. Um, you've, you've also judged a, a couple of breeds, um, uh, a couple of groups at Crafts. Uh, the yeah. Working Pastoral, is that correct? That's right, yeah. The, uh, I think it was 2001 my first group and 2002 or three my second one. Yeah. The, the pastoral group was won by the, the Pembroke Welsh Corgis. That's that right, right, yes. Who went on to reserve best in show. It did, yeah. So you've picked a reserve winner. Yeah. This yeah, year you I get have. to pick a best in show winner. Yeah, go on better, yeah. Pick, pick the best, yeah. yeah. Uh, you've watched a couple of the groups already tonight. That's um, right. This weekend. Yeah. You, you must be itching to get started now. Yeah, well, I mean, the appointment arrived on my doorstep four and a half years ago to do this. <laughs> And uh, it's there at the back of your mind, obviously, because it's such a big appointment. Yeah. To uh, and I re regard it as a great honour. Yes. To judge the best issue at Crufts, but uh, and then it didn't really hit me till yesterday when we got down here, <laughs> and then you get there and you, the bus comes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've altogether I've judged. I think this will be my thirteenth or fourteenth appointment at Crufts. Wow. Okay. You? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it must be, it must be a, a fantastic place to judge. The, the entries are huge, the atmosphere is just something different, isn't it? That's right, yeah. I mean, I say, on, on this day and age, you have a lot of overseas exhibitors mm -hmm. come. Yeah. There's always been overseas visitors, but not in the numbers they come today, because yeah. they can, uh, I think there's about two and a half thousand dogs from yes. overseas yeah. uh, this weekend. And, uh, so, and obviously they're not going to come a long way no. <laughs> with, with uh, indifferent dogs. So, you know, I think uh, the first two, two days uh, which have gone, they seem quite a sprinkling of overseas dogs yeah. in the groups. Two of the group winners are, yeah. are foreign bred already. So. And of course, we have some good dogs in the UK of as well. Of course, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Jack. Best of luck for tomorrow night. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and we'll speak to, you, speak to you after best in the yeah. show. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm sure I'll enjoy it. And it's the 
the build up and then like a lot of judges once you get in i'm not saying you can forget the the background because this is a special yes, show but yeah. at most shows once you start judging your, not any different. your concentration solely on the dogs yeah. and obviously it will be tomorrow night but uh, the atmosphere of Croft's still going to be there which is magic and you yeah. you had your practice in the big ring last night how did that go <laughs> yeah we had a practice last night and the dogs were uh, uh, i think uh, pets for therapy you know what yeah. go around hospitals and yes, this sort of yeah. thing and uh, they'd never been in a show ring <laughs> before so uh, yeah it, everything seemed different. to go I think it was the timing that was uh, yeah. most important. Uh, obviously, we went over the dogs and asked them to move, but there were no competition as no. such, no. Well, best of luck, and we'll speak to you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.